The English Toy Spaniel is a delightful, affectionate toy dog with a decidedly aristocratic heritage. Companion to royalty for 300 years, the English Toy Spaniel is today equally at home in the country cottage or the city apartment. Toy Spaniels have existed for hundreds of years on the continent and in England as pet dogs of the aristocracy. In the 1500s, they were known as the Spaniel Gentile, or Comforter. A hundred years later, the Stuart King so loved these little dogs that King Charles became the very name of the breed in England. In the mid-1800s, interbreeding with Oriental Toy Spaniels probably occurred. The English Toy Spaniel was recognized and first admitted to the AKC stud book in 1886 and enjoyed great popularity in the States at the turn of the century. Today, there are two separate English toy varieties, one of solid and one of broken colors. The broken colors are the Blenheim, which is red and white, and the Prince Charles, which is black and white with tan points. The solid colors are the King Charles, which is black with tan points, and the Ruby, which is a rich red. You'll be seeing many English toy spaniels during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed. Others are less so. But all will help your understanding of the English toy spaniel. In general appearance, the English toy spaniel is a compact, cobby, and basically square toy dog. He is a flat-faced dog with a domed head, has a silky, flowing coat, and a merry, affectionate demeanor. All elements should combine to create a dog of distinction and character, with the breed's most important characteristic exemplified by its unique head. Adult animals ideally weigh 8 to 14 pounds. General symmetry and substance are more important than actual weight. But all things being equal, the smaller dog is to be preferred. This dog and bitch are good breed examples. Remember that the English Toy Spaniel is compact, essentially square, and built on cobby lines. He should be sturdy of frame and solidly constructed. 